it makes it difficult to figure out how we are going to move forward against them. What do, you, what, what do we do? I think you raise a lot of very important points and people don't realize this. First of all, now ISIS is two things. What differentiated ISIS from the other jihadi groups, and unfortunately there's dozens of them, is that they didn't want only to uh, commit violent acts in order to slowly destabilize the world, in order to slowly bring about the caliphate. They just built the caliphate. So they were about land. And in the Middle East, they still are about land. But recently, maybe because of all the bombing, they've started to act like Al-Qaeda, okay? Mm -hmm. So just trying to get lone wolves to read stuff on the internet, become infuriated, become indoctrinated, and go carry out these acts, for which then they can claim credit. So there's a nebulous link. If you look at the situation, you step back and you look at what France has done. The people came from France, from suburbs in France. You have the poison being taught in France for decades now, like in the rest of Europe. And they went and bombed places in Syria, right? There's a complete inability to even look at the problem. So France lashed out. I'm not saying uh, ISIS in Syria doesn't deserve to be bombed. Of course they do, but that's not going to solve the problem. This, the problem at base, the West would do better to focus on Facebook than bombing, if you want to in eliminate the threat in European and Western cities, because it's probably in North America as well, not to the same extent, you're probably going to have as much of a success if you focus on Facebook and social media. There is absolute poison going on on Facebook now. Agreed. Entire pages supporting jihad, promoting the murder of, uh, of Israelis, promoting the murder, the murder of other people, supporting ISIS, Twitter. So once in a while they close one page, but then a hundred spring up, right? That has got to be part of the plan. Now, 30 years ago, the Arab world was not producing this, not nearly in these numbers. There was some jihadists going to Afghanistan, but that was more or less the extent of it. What happened is that you had an exporting of these terrible ideas through Gulf oil money uh, for their own political purposes, basically exporting their crazies after there was instability in Saudi Arabia and setting up these madrasas that turned, for example, Pakistan, which was a Sufi country, this very... Uh, mystical, peace, more peaceful version of Islam into Salafist, which is violent, uh, intolerant form of, of Islam, which is what these terrorist groups usually adhere to. In 30 years they've done this through promoting and pumping education to these schools. Why can't we use covert means to have alternate schools, for example, or programming or content that allows people to be Muslim, but in the way they were 30 years ago or 50 years ago, where this wasn't, you know, what the media was, or, or, or social media was showing as the way to be Muslim now, which is basically to, you know, to be at war with other people. Why can't we, you know, return, try to return Pakistan to, to its Sufi uh, state 30 years ago? Or, or, or also, Europe needs to get more involved in its community's values. And we talked about this last yes, time. Yes, we right? did. Multiculturalism is basically abdication, the way it's being practiced, just lazy, like, wishful thinking. Let's just leave them there and hope they become what we want them to become. That's just not going to work.